we are out here at Caddo Mills and on the way out here it started drizzling it was, wasn't calling for that so we've been sitting here contemplating it's probably flyable but for me I just don't want to mess with it but James on the other hand he says he's gonna do it I'm not gonna do it Huh? I'm yeah. all tall. Come on, I brought the camera out. I'm all tall. He, he's putting the gear on. I'm all tall. I mean, if you've got your paramotor covered up, that's what is known as a clue. See, here's the protection level I'm at on my unit. I can feel a drizzle. I can feel a little bit of drizzle right now. The wind is still blowing. It's just... It's not going to be a pristine flight a if you go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to happen. Huh? You got this. No. I'm, I'm encouraging you. <laughs> Never mind that tarp. If you take that tarp off, it won't blow so bad like that. Windsock about blown over. That tarp's made of the same material that the, uh, the looking spider in the <laughs> Super lightweight material. Oh yeah, that looks fine. Send it. All right, we're calling it. It's about 45 minutes to sunset and uh, it ain't getting any better. So sometimes it's a swing and a miss on this old pair motor and thing, but we have not flown in so long that we, I guess, were desperate, but not so desperate that we made a bad decision. We did make a decision. We made the right decision. We made the right decision. We did All right. Make the bad decision. Until next time, we out.